Hello and welcome into this week's RNN Diecast review right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's Diecast review, as I promised, this is the final 2018 Cup car. And then we'll move on to some 2019s. The only 2018 diecast period that we have left is the Timothy Peters Talladega wind truck, which has not been released yet. So once that gets released, we will do it. But from here on out, otherwise, it will be 2019 cars. So you've seen the title. You know what today's is. Try to keep it a surprise because I wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise. Nobody actually guessed it up until now, which I'm kind of surprised by. I figured somebody would uh, have figured out what this was going to be, but uh, it is the William Byron Rookie of the Year car. So we'll take a look. Normal elite box here. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Just your typical 2018 elite window box. They made 100 of these Rookie of the Year galaxy colors for William Byron in elite. I don't know what the production run is for the ARCs, but that is what it is for the uh, Elites. So what comes in the box? Just a couple of things here. Uh, your normal generic Elite COA and the William Byron Rookie of the Year cards. We've got the Rookie of the Year logo here on the front, picture of William and the 24 car with Liberty University paint. William Byron, Hendrick Motorsports and Liberty University. And on the back, uh, more of the same, William's autograph. Picture of the car again, uh, looks to be, yeah, it's definitely at Indy. Um, but otherwise, uh, nothing nothing really to read here on this card. Just a cool little card to uh, commemorate Williams Rookie of the Year in 2018. All right, so let's take a look at the car here. And we will start, of course, under the hood as we usually do. If we can get the hood popped here. There we go. All right, and of course, because it is a Camaro, the hood barely opens here. Try to get you a look underneath there. Lots of stuff under the hood, though. Chevy, Liberty University, Exalta, Hertz, Unifirst. Is that how you pronounce that? Unifirst, Unifirst, and Wix filters. Take a look at the Elite engine detail. If we can get light in there again with the hood barely opening, it's hard to get light in there, but I think you can see that. So, on the nose here. Chevy Camaro, typical nose. Here's the L1 Hendrick Motorsports and the number 24. The Galaxy color finish is in the blue on this paint, and it looks really good. I love this. This is the first, honestly, this is the first Galaxy color I've ever seen, period, and uh, seem to have a bit of a uh, decal error there. Um, I can definitely feel it there. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a chip or if it's, some piece of decal out of place, but uh, there's definitely something there um, that won't just rub away. But um, the, the Galaxy finish does look really good here on the blue, um, and you can see it shimmering here in the, uh, in the light. Um, basically, if you're not familiar, a Galaxy color finish is basically just, they put a bunch of speckles in uh, the dropout color here, um, and those are supposed to like, I guess, signify stars. So it looks like a galaxy. So pretty cool finish. Um, I wouldn't want a lot of galaxy finishes, but, uh, it is kind of neat to have it here. Of course, this is a Hendrick Motorsports car. So no Monster Energy logo here across the top of the windshield. NASCAR 2018 Sunoco Rookie of the Year on the roof. Roof flaps do function. Byron on the back window, DIN number 32, again of 100. LU for Liberty University on the deck lid. Take a look here at the fuel cell detail. Funny how the, the trunk lid opens up more than the, uh, the hood does. Uh, so get a look at that. Down the driver's side here. Again, this is basically the clean version of the Liberty car from 2018, other than having the Galaxy finish and the, the Rookie of the Year logo on the the roof, so not really a whole lot to look at here. Nothing really out of the ordinary from the normal Liberty University car. Uh, contingency sponsors here, William Byron on the name rail, cloth window net, number 24 hertz. Sponsors down the B post, Valvoline on the C post, Liberty and Exalta back here on the quarter panel. On the back bumper, Liberty University, 
rookie stripes, Chevy ZL1, Valvoline, and number 24. And looks the same down the passenger side as it does on the driver's side. But again, a good looking car here. You can see the, the sparkles in here for the galaxy color finish. It does look really good. I will give them credit for that. Other than a little bit of a decal error or whatever that might be there on the hood, um, it is a good looking car. So that's your look at the William Byron Rookie of the Year Galaxy Color from 2018. Again, only 100 of these made in Elite, so uh, just barely made it to MOQ, and I don't know if that was, um, that was a decision that was made that they were only going to make 100 of these, or if it just barely made it to MOQ. I'm not sure, uh, but either way, that is what was made was 100, so um, not a lot of these out there. I don't know, again, what the production run was on the ARC, so if this is something you're looking for, I would definitely snatch it up while you can. Uh, next week on Diecast Review, we will be getting into 2019s. Oh, boy. Next week on Diecast Review, we will be getting into the 2019 raced versions, and we'll kick it off with the Daytona 500, Denny Hamlin's Daytona 500 winner. So we'll have that on next week's Diecast Review. That's the only um, Daytona car... Um, no, I take that back. Jimmy's Clash win and Logano's dual win are out so far. Um, the Annette Xfinity win should be out sometime soon. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's just about to ship. I'm not 100% sure, but that may even be shipping this week. I'm not 100% sure. Um, the Austin Hill Daytona win got DMP'd, as did the Harrison Burton Arca win. So uh, we do have a couple more. Uh, Daytona wins that will eventually show up, but for now, the first one to show up was the uh, the Denny Hamlin Daytona win. We were supposed to have the Legato dual win a couple weeks ago, and uh, if you saw the uh, the Martin Truex Jr. Color Chrome diecast review, you will uh, you'll know why we don't have that. But uh, so that uh, that will be next week's diecast review with the uh, the Denny Hamlin Daytona 500 win. Lots of stuff coming up this weekend. Uh, Richmond and Canaan East, I believe, is what's in it. I know there's a Canaan race this weekend. I think it's East. I think they're in New Hampshire this weekend. Um, so, got a few rewind shows coming up for you this weekend. We won't be back at the track until October 5th with ARCA at Indianapolis. So, I uh, got a couple weeks off from uh, at the track stuff until ARCA's back on the track, but we will still have rewind shows for you nonetheless coming up this weekend. So, Lots of cool stuff coming up for you here in the next few days or so. Unfortunately, unless something changes after um, this gets recorded, the first episode of the podcast, which was supposed to be out today, um, does not look like it's going to happen. I think that's going to get pushed back to next week. Had some trouble getting schedules to line up with my co-host for that. So um, should be next week, hopefully, when we get that started. Um, fingers crossed on that one. I really want to get that started, but unfortunately, uh, he had something come up and I don't think we're going to be able to do that unless something changes this week. So yeah, I look forward to that next week. Hopefully I hate to push that back again since I've already talked about it a little bit, especially, but, uh, not much we can do about it at this point. So look forward to that. Hopefully coming up next week, first episode of the podcast. I'll have more details for you as we get closer to that. So if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. While you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button. If you like the video, it is much appreciated when you do. But at that, this has been the RNN Diecast Review. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.